Hi guys, I'm in the middle of my first test for uh, my arm mechanisms. I'm trying to uh, kind of figure out how I'm going to build them, what I want to do with them, how I'm going to power them, uh, how they're going to be actuated. Um, I know what I want to do is um, basically their, uh, their arms for this B9 Blossom Space Robot usually are retracted like this. Um, and uh, in the show he would extend them, he'd bend them up, and then he also had a wrist uh, that went down, and at the end there'd be a, there's going to be a claw mechanism. And it's all going to be quite heavy, but I want him to move fast enough to look real. Uh, full extension, he comes out about 24 inches, so I'm going to have a, a joint right about 5 inches out, like that, and maybe about another 5 inches down. And these are going to be like U-joints, back and forth, back and forth like that. Um, don't have to have any kind of shoulder inside. Um, but um, see I can have, well let me turn the lights on in there if I can okay I got lights on in there so you can see I don't have a whole lot of room in there it's about five inches round uh, to fit so I need to get mechanisms to slide and joints that are less than um, the five inches and actually be able to articulate quite a bit and still have room in there and look real. So uh, my friend over in uh, the UK, I'm in the United States right now, sent me these cool little motors. Uh, I think it's pronounced Bosch or Bostish. Um, they're a 20, I'm sorry, a 12 volt motor inside, worm gear driven um, motor. And um, so I wasn't sure if they're gonna be powerful enough or quick enough for me. Uh, they're, they're built to run on 12 volts. Uh, they have a built-in potometer in there. I think that's how you say it, a pot, a pot meter. And um, five connections. I've sawed off the housing that, that was on there to get at the pins better. Um, there's two wires here to come out, the power, the two power wires right there. And these are the three uh, wires for the pot that's going to give me positioning patrol, uh, control through my EZB robot control board. <clears throat> so um, I'm really excited to see how it all works out. Uh, the thing was when I ran 12 volts through it, it was really slow and I didn't like it. It wasn't going to be working out enough. Um, so I had to get a little uh, buck, um, I'm sorry, a boost. Well, this actually is a buck um, transformer. It takes the power from 24, my 24 four volt power supply that is back in there, um, sends it through there. I can dial it down to 18 volts, which is kind of over volt for this for this motor, but it, I think it's going to be okay um, to stand up to the extra voltage. It's only a few volts more, but that really sped it up. I don't want to go any farther than 18 volts. Tony is running his robot's arms with these motors at 18 volts he says and they seem to be working okay but you can see how fast it is uh, it's really spinning pretty good that's about um, seven seconds per revolution six to seven seconds and it's got a lot of torque to it I think it's gonna be it's worm driven like I said it's gonna be just I can't really stop it it's, it's just got a lot of torque you can see I'm really putting pressure on it, it doesn't even want to slow down so what I'm thinking about doing, just to take some um, pressure off that little worm drive in there, it's all metal, it's a metal worm drive on plastic gears, is to double these up and put two of them between C-clamps, between a C-clamp, a C-bracket, and then put them back to back, and that would make it um, kind of like a U-joint, kind, of kind of a pan and tilt kind of a deal. Uh, which would give me my, my, my up and down and my back and forth, basically. So you can see uh, that it's probably going to turn out pretty good because it's, it's skinny enough, small enough to fit in there with my brackets. And uh, I have a really good feeling this is going to work out good. So like I said, this was my first attempt to, to take my tests uh, to see if I did have the proper speed I want, the proper strength and torque, and see how it ran on 12 volts versus 18 volts. And I'm going to have to go with 18 volts with these motors. But what I really like about this is got the built-in pot uh, that'll give me feedback and position control um, for my EZB. I'm going to run it through a um, through a uh, H bridge and a kangaroo control board. What that'll do is is uh, uh, H bridge 
And by the way, there's my Easy B right there. Uh, I got other Easy Bs. I'm going to go to the version 4, which which is we're not going to get into. It's a lot better board than the version 3 that I have here. But this is an H bridge that uh, changes the directions of the DC motor that that you'll see over here. I'll get an H bridge just like that. And the kangaroo board, which uh, will turn it into basically a, a giant servo, that um, the the software on the Easy B will be able to run better and uh, more easily manipulate and give it better movement and stuff, and everything will work better uh, through that software. So anyway, this I just wanted to share this with you and show you what I've done so far, and I'll keep you updated as I go along. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.